New at five, people in the community and animal rights activists, they want answers. Veterinarians had to euthanize a cat found shot in Norfolk. Allison Basil tells us more about who found the cat and what's next. Didn't need to happen. The Norfolk SPCA offers animal adoptions or low cost veterinary care, but a big part of its mission is protecting animals. Dr. Rita Hemming says a good Samaritan brought the vet staff a cat yesterday who couldn't move his back legs. Couldn't actually support his weight and walk at all. She says an x-ray revealed something worse than broken bones. Happened to find a bullet um, adjacent to his lumbar spine. Um, so his lower in the lower back region. The vet team had to euthanize the cat, but not before showing him love and naming him Robert. He deserved a name and he deserved to be recognized. He was a very, very handsome boy. SPCA staff members say the Good Samaritan found Robert in a driveway on Nelms Avenue off East Princess Anne Road in Norfolk. Now they are asking people who might know something to reach out. It's unfortunate and you know, if anybody has any information whatsoever, you can always call in, email, post anonymously. Executive Director Kim Sherlaw says the person responsible would face felony animal cruelty charges. No matter where someone lives in Hampton Roads, she says they can call their local animal agency to report cruelty situations. If something seems wrong, if you see an animal that's injured, contact your animal control, your animal protection unit, because there are resources there that can be put in place to help the animal. In Norfolk, Allison Basil, 13 News Now. Under Virginia law, someone responsible for the death of an animal could face a class six felony charge, which could mean up to five years in prison or a $2,500 fine.